That was some speech you made. How'd you get here? Speck showed me. Oh, well, he say you could go through my stuff? He saw them rolled up sticking out of there. I didn't know what they were. These drawings? These are drawings of the refuge, aren't they? Is this really what it's like in there? Three boys to a bed, rats everywhere, and vermin? Oh, what, a little different from where you were raised? Snyder told my father you were arrested stealing food and clothing. This is why, isn't it? You stole to feed those boys. I don't understand. If you were willing to go to jail for those boys, how could you turn your back on them now? I do not think that you are one to be talking about turning on folks. I never turned on you or anyone else. Oh, no, you just double-crossed us to your father. Your father! <laughs> My father has eyes in every corner of this city. He doesn't need me spying for him. And I never lied. I just didn't tell you everything. Oh, if you weren't a girl, you'd be trying to talk with a fist in your mouth. I said that I worked for the sun, and I did. I told you my professional name was Plummer, and it is. You never asked my real one. Yeah, I wouldn't think I had to unless I knew I was dealing with a backstabber. <laughs> and if I was a boy, you'd be looking at me through one swollen eye. Oh, don't let that stop you. Give me your best shot. I need to know you didn't cave for the money. But I spoke the truth. You win a fight when you got the other guy down eating pavement. You heard your father. No matter how many weeks we strike, he ain't giving up. I don't know what else we can do. <laughs> but I do. Come on, it's really oh, hopeful. Oh, really, Jack, really? Only you can have a good idea? Or is it because I'm a girl? Well, I didn't say anything about you being now a Now would be a good time to shut up. <laughs> being boss doesn't mean you have all the answers, just the brains to recognize the right one when you hear it. I'm listening. Good for you. The strike was your idea, the rally was Davies, and now my plan will take us to the finish line. Deal with it. The children's crusade. For the sake of all the kids in every sweatshop, factory, and slaughterhouse in New York, I beg you, join us. With those words, the strike stopped being just about the newsies. You challenged our whole generation to stand up and demand a place at the table. The children's crusade. Uh, think, Jack, if we publish this, my words, with one of your drawings, and if every worker under 21 read it and stayed home from work, or better yet, came to Newsy Square, a general citywide strike, even my father couldn't ignore that. Only one small problem. We got no way to print it. Oh, come on. There has to be one printing press my father doesn't control. Oh, no. <laughs> what? I just thought of a print and press no one would ever think that we use. Well, then why are we still standing here? Come on. Hey, uh, what's this about? I'm, I'm not talking about the children's crusade. What's this about? Am I kidding myself or is there something? Like, uh, <laughs> of course there is. Don't just say it like it happens every day. Look, I'm not stupid. I know girls like you don't wind up with guys like me. And I don't want you saying nothing that you're just gonna have to take back later. But standing here tonight, looking at you, I'm scared tomorrow's gonna come and change everything. If there was a way that I could grab hold of something and make time stop, just so as I could keep looking at you. <laughs> you snuck up on me, Jack Kelly. I never even saw it coming. For sure? For sure.